Last week, the HR fraternity of Indian industry lost a legendary figure, Professor Kishore K. Sinha, who has been serving Birla Institute of Management Technology, BIMTECH, since 2011. He has been working in various public sector undertakings and also private sector companies. He has been executive director of NTPC and he is credited for making a big HR reform in this blue chip company owned by government of India. He has uh, provided a very pro pupil, pro employees HR model for this company. After serving NTPC for a long time, he has joined uh, private sector groups like Reliance Industries and also Jindal Steel and Power. 2011, he has given an adieu to the corporate sector career and BIMTECH has invited him to join as Dean Executive Education. During last 10 years, he has created a magic for our institute and he has written so many books. He has designed a very innovative program as a round table and he has helped BIMTECH to have a great connect with the industry. I would also like to highlight that he has authored several books when he was working with BIMTECH. Those books I would like to name. The first one is the, you can see here, Manthan Art and Science of Developing Leaders. And second book is Return of the Surya. Third book is Bairupian Challenge, which he has authored in partnership with Mr. S. V. Nathan, the current president of National HRD Network. And he was a Hindi poet also. He has uh, published several collections of poems. And there is the last uh, one which we have uh, published on behalf of BIMTECH, Dalan Me Soi Neet. And I think that this is the great work he has done with his co-authors because he always believed in collaborative working. In these books, he was having co-authorship with the people from the industry as well as faculty, one of the young faculty of BIMTECH. Professor K.K. Sinha, in my association with him for last over 22 years, I have, I have seen him as a professional who contributed to generations of professionals to become bigger and better in life. He was someone, his commitment, his passion used to inspire one and all who came into contact with Professor Sinha. My homage and tribute to Professor Sinha and we will look forward to contribute to the profession based on the teachings and learnings of Professor Sinha. Thank you. चंद सांसे उखड़ती लड़खड़ाती इस अस्पताल के कमरे में ऑक्सीजन मास्क के सहारे लेने की कोशिश की है यदा कदा देही और कुछ भटक से गए अभागे निश्वास वर्षों चाहकर भी जिन्हें रोक न सका अब छलक कर आ गए हैं यहाँ कोशिश तो की है भरने की इनमें रंग और खुशबू पर चाहकर भी जुटा न सका पक्के रंग हो सके तो तुम भर देना सिन्हा वॉज नॉट ओनली अ गुड फ्रेंड ही वॉज अ वेरी गुड मैन गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल recently when i say recently it's about about a year ago he had asked he had asked me he says kev could you be willing to write a book along with me and i said look i don't have time to write a book so he says no all you have to do is just be with me and i will do most of it and is there anything you can do and midway through the book i threw up my hands and i said then i said i don't think i can do it and he is a man who's very persuasive and he does not use any strong language but he'll keep coming back to you again and again and again and that's what he did and so i set aside time so all my saturdays and sundays i would plow into it 
but I would have done only a fraction of what that entire compendium was about. And for 10 years, he has been working very, very closely at Bimtech, very working very closely with NHRDM, steering a number of programs. And these roundtables, all the wealth of information through every one of these roundtables, he very nicely accumulated them and compiled them into a book. Great soul, miss him a lot, ever smiling. And the smile is not on his face or his lips. The smile is in his eyes. Very kind man. I have not known of anybody who can even say one thing and say this is not okay with him. We will all miss him, his contribution just not to NHRDM, but to the community of human resources is immense. And through several of the people that he may have touched, they would always remember him. I certainly will. Well, I actually find it very, very difficult to say anything. Uh, this is mainly because I feel so much a part of his family, although I never met uh, his other members of the family. Because every time we met, I think uh, he was uh, so warm. Uh, there is, uh, there is very, uh, I think there is very little to speak of except to say that he is a personification and a role model uh, for all HR professionals with his uh, humility, respect for all the people and his gratitude even to those who may not have done anything for him. I think he has always been grateful. In almost about two, two and a half decades ago, including, I think, mapping the competencies of executive directors and the way I think he pushed it. And when the board was not always positive about doing certain things, how he went around and then uh, without compromising the professionalism, he has done so many things, introduced 360 feedback, introduced assessment centers. I think a large part of uh, initiatives he has taken were responsible for NTPC to do get noticed in terms of their HR practices. I will personally miss uh, uh, KK very much. I used to hear a lot about KK, but I had never met till about 20 years when he was already HR director in NTPC. And the context was that I was running into difficulty introducing HR initiatives in one of the companies, the group companies that I had responsibility for. They had a very strong officers association and I was totally clueless as to how to progress. And then we decided that let's go to NTPC and meet KK. The warmth with which he received us and spent practically his entire day along with his team and transparently shared everything that he was doing to keep NTPC where it was with all the HR initiatives, dealing with the difficult unions, officers association, even union ministers. And it was a very humbling experience for us. Often his mentors used to tell him that when there is a storm, bend your head down. But KK would not listen to such friendly advice. He would be upright. He would stand by his conviction. And, you know, the last book that he launched along with Nathan, what you referred to, Bahurupian, I think he himself was truly a Bahurupian professional. During all difficult circumstances, he found a way, creative way, to convey his message in a very impactful manner. It's very difficult to talk about Kishore in a short span of one or two minutes. But having said, it's a personal loss to me. Kishore is a very, very dear friend for many years. And we worked together on many, many other initiatives. And one thing I just want to say is a great institution builder. I think what he has done for NTPC, what Aravind also has alluded, is something outstanding. It was way back in 2003, he came to me, he rang up one day, he said, I want to come to your office. He came to Gurgaon from Noida and he brought his team. I just want to understand how you get the best employed award in top four or top five. Can I participate as a public sector? Do you think I have a chance? Why not? Yes, 
you can't believe next year he competed this two third in the best employers award across india to mourn the passing away of a very close friend not only a professional colleague is sometime very unreal i knew kk for more than 20 22 years and in each occasion his humility his sense of humor his intellectual rigor and yet grounded to to the very basic foundation of anything that he did was so evident uh, very seldom you come across human beings uh, who are passionate who are compassionate and yet very serious professionals in the terms of the delivery and the purpose kk combined all this together more than anything he was very gentle in it's it's really a personal loss uh, and i can't visualize the fact that kk is no longer with us but i i remember him for a lot of fun times uh, i remember i met him almost 20 years back when he was at ntpc and he was a client of mine uh, at that point of time and it was so much fun and every time we met him he always had this wonderful smile with which he invites you uh, every conversation is something that you learn a lot from him and i used to subsequently in fact when he joined reliance also he again pulled me back and saying uh, i just wanted to see you so i said okay let me see if we can work together and we had that very gentle affable wonderful way of reaching out to your soul and uh, you know he is somebody i really miss and i used to pull his leg saying is a die hard romantic now you should have seen all his facebook postings and and he's so full of life whether it is the worst style strengths that he had or the kind of love he had for his family and he treated the rest of us i mean entire community entire fraternity anybody who touched him as family i, I think uh, kk will continue to be part of us because we will never forget him and he will live in our memories for being a great friend a wonderful soul and a human being par excellence dhananjay uh, it is my privilege uh, to say a few words in honor of kk dear friend and fellow traveler for the past uh, 15 odd years <laughs> uh, the first thought that comes to me when i think of kk is that he was the personification of joie de vivre the joy and spirit of life i will always remember his smile big broad always there a mischievous twinkle in his eye his boundless enthusiasm energy and warmth his can do attitude and passion no matter what the odds and a prodigious doer my interactions with him were centered largely around the round table and everything that emanated from the round table he had a knack of getting us all together uh, for the conferences and today we are all together uh, without him uh, extremely sad uh, for that um, also as i was listening to all of you what was coming to my mind was uh, you know he had one innings uh, in public sector and what a innings it it was you know he set benchmarks that uh, people tried to follow thereafter and then the second innings was uh, even better than the first you know, he really hit uh, big centuries in both the innings uh, something that we can try and emulate uh, at least i can uh, try and emulate uh, nobody could say no anthan uh i would i'm a i write poetry and uh, i would share with him and he once shared with me uh, a poem that he had written for his daughter and uh, and then he shared that his first book in fact was a hindi poem book that he wrote for his daughter i'm i'm really short of words so we were colleagues at bimtech and they accomplished uh, many projects together with the passing away of professor kishore sinha an era has ended वो एक युग पुरुष थे और उनके जाने से एक युग का अंत हो गया एक्चुअली इन वे ही वॉज ए मल्टीफेसिटेड पर्सन एज द मदर्स ऑल्सो मैं ए ग्रेट ह्यूमन बींग हम्बल एंड ऑनेस्ट ए थिंकर एंड ऑथर ए टीचर एंड एन इंस्टीट्यूशन बिल्डर इन शॉर्ट ए ग्रेट सोल हिस कंट्रीब्यूशन एट बीमटेक हैज बिन इमेंस एंड अनपैरल he has worked at bimtech for over 10 years his contribution particularly in leadership <coughs> development courses and the leadership development center was singular he gave new life 
to our MDP self. Such people are rare and leave their imprint which are permanent and their loss is irreparable. Kishore was like my younger brother. Both of us hailed from undivided India and after division from Jharkhand. We worked together not only public sector long period. My first meeting I think must be around 30 years back. And then we had I mean, so many old memoirs of our college days, school days, Bihar days. And those past memoirs still hold. And I can't believe that he has left us. During more than 10 years in Wilton, we worked together, together and we used to have a lot of debate. But that is what opens up minds. So he was a person with very, very open mind, but at the same time, he was very firm on certain views, certain principles, and that anybody would admire. Car, everyone. It's really a sad moment for all of us, those people who uh, touched base with uh, Professor Sinha cannot ever forget him and uh, something uh, of a legacy uh, that the current organization I represent. Uh, some of you would know but most of you may not know that he was uh, the founding member of the United Nations Global Compact Network India. So we owe our existence literally to him and his efforts. And it has been uh, a privilege uh, knowing him uh, for uh, now close to two decades and uh, ever smiling. have uh, very good memories uh, at IMA, later on at IMI4 and uh, the work that he has done uh, for the HR profession, for the SDGs in India, for the sustainability and also, you know, BIMTEC, I think, uh, is his contribution. Uh, he joined, I think, BIMTEC in 2010. And uh, ever since he joined, you know, the activities doubled, tripled. It's indeed a very, very sad day because uh, such a wonderful person, a great man, a tall leader, a role model, a well-rounded personality, that kind of person I mean, this is a kind of model which is not made anymore, I feel. And above all, I mean, even in his sickness, I know the extent to which he handled himself with so much grace. I think I was deeply impressed by this aspect of his personality. Never a day has he ever complained about anything. And always that gentle smile and gentle laughter which everybody was talking about, twinkling eyes, I mean, I fully, fully endorse experiencing that with him as well. Uh, I am deeply saddened by the news of uh, passing away of uh, Professor K.K. Sinaji. I have lost uh, a great guru, professional guru and mentor. For about uh, 11 years, we were uh, in touch and I worked very closely with him for more than four years at BIMTEC. He was my inspiration for doing a lot of a number of MDPs, traveling together, spending time together, having food together. I think uh, I am remembering every moment of our togetherness. I have no words to express and describe his personality. He is a truly humble, thorough gentleman, great professional HR guru. And at the same time, what others have already said, he smiles when he smiles, his eyes also smile. And uh, he is a person, really, I think, uh, very few one when one can compare with him. I've had uh, quite a close uh, working relationship with uh, uh, Kishore Sena. We were both in the PSU environment for almost about two decades. 
and uh, very active on the school pechar forum or uh, many other such forums um, his um, initiatives like the pechar in the forum in the power sector was so vibrant um, and came up with so many new initiatives uh, he also perhaps gave a new direction and the hr processes systems uh, in mtpc a uh, kind of a, a, a natural leader if you want to describe an hr person an hr leader the traits the kind of thing that you look forward were all natural with him we learned i personally got impacted with him on on many aspects and i've really carry forward shyam ji ke bare mein itni sari baatein suni jinko hum log ghar mein shyam ji karte the ऑफिस में आप लोग के के चिन्ह के नाम से जानते थे उस श्याम जी को हमारे हस्बैंड हाथ पकड़ करके मैं पटना कॉलेज में ले गए थे एडमिशन करवाने के लिए उसमें पता नहीं था कि वो बीज बढ़ करके इतना बड़ा बरगद का पेड़ बन जाएगा कि सब उसकी छत्र छाया में रहेंगे और सब उनको इस तरह से याद करेंगे इतनी शांति मिलती है सोच करके कि वो आदमी जिसको हम लोगों ने एक छोटा बच्चा समझा था आज कहाँ से कहाँ पहुँच कर हम लोगों को छोड़ कर चला गया जैसे लगता है कि गोद का बच्चा चला गया हो हमेशा हम लोगों के साथ उनका संबंध बहुत बढ़िया रहा नाना के घर में पले बड़े हैं इसलिए हम लोगों से नज़दीकी पहुँच जाती रही और 20 तारीख को हमारे यहाँ आए दो तीन घंटा हमसे खूब बातचीत किया 30 तारीख को जिस दिन वो हॉस्पिटलाइज हुए उस दिन भी उन्होंने शाम को हमसे करीब आधा घंटा पौन घंटा बातचीत किया मालूम नहीं था कि उस रात में हमको ये मालूम होगा कि हॉस्पिटलाइज हो गए हैं देख नहीं सके और आखिरी समय में जब उनको कल देखा तो लगा नहीं कि वही श्याम जी है सोच कर भी अफसोस लगता है कि कहा चले गए बीज भी चला गया और बीज को रोपने वाला भी चला गया जहां भी इन दोनों हैं शांति से रहें और ऐसे अच्छे लोग हैं कि उन लोगों को ईश्वर जरूर अच्छी जगह देंगे और ईश्वर से प्रार्थना की हे भगवान उन लोगों को हमेशा शांति से रखिए शांति प्रदान करिए नमस्कार HR fraternity leadership fraternity and the country i have known him last more than 30 years imagine 30 years back i was an ordinary person working for a very small company and he was the director of hr of ntpc a very large company but his heart was so big that whenever i could go to him and that point of time around 2001 2002 when i was the vice president of delhi management association he was the first person to come forward to support us on behalf of ntpc and then many occasions even on my public programs the road map to success where dwarka gp siddiqui all of them and he would also like to be there on the validatory it was as he always held that road map to success which was started by padma shri dr people think who is watching us still and i think such personalities such people who impact you who mentor you they will keep on watching you what we are going to do balance part of our lives we all have to go and it's a big loss it's a huge loss 45 years ka rishta chala gaya ki kisho He has been my guide mentor for so many years. Insane. Then he moved to NTPC. I was in the public sector. Then in Reliance. And uh, he is a great mentor, great human being, very knowledgeable. Loved fine arts. Encouraged Chitra Babi to pursue her art, Tanjore art. And uh, he is uh, he is known for. Uh, investment in relations and believe in knowledge sharing and always talking good about others spreading goodness spreading happiness so i have lost my elder brother my 
guide, guardian, teacher who has been mentoring me for 45 years. I miss you, Kishore. And he was so humble on a public platform. He introduced me as his mentor. Such a wonderful person. I think for me, my most favorite memory of professor is sometime in 2015 when he had organized a round table in Hyderabad. And such a magnetic personality that he had. Uh, he was relating to anybody and everybody who was present in that particular conference hall. And like it, it was a, such was his power that everybody was sort of hovering around him. Uh, he was engaging with everybody on the conference, discussing about the conference, discussing generally about things in life. And few years later, actually, when Manthan was getting released as a book, that's when again he had sort of reached out and shared. Somebody who's very, very fond of uh, connecting people, connecting people through platforms like the round table. And I think it's a platform that's a legacy that he has left behind. And I think the best tribute that we can give to him is by continuing to strengthen that platform. And that is what would give him the maximum happiness and satisfaction. First of all, my profound uh, Shraddhanjali to Dr. Sena. I had uh, not uh, worked with him for a long time, like many of you. I had a brief uh, interaction with him for almost three years. And uh, it, during one of my visits to BIMTAC, it was privileged for me to meet him, uh, to meet him. In fact, I was introduced by late Professor Anand Sharma. We went to his room and we had a very good discussions there. And uh, I was means, uh, very much impressed with his humbleness and positive attitude to the life. We had uh, interacted on many topics, how we can expand activities of BIMTAC in Southeast Asia. Even he gave me a set of books which he had written to me and all I had read and then we had, we had interacted. So he was really a great man. I will miss him during my next trip to BIMTAC. And uh, on behalf of all friends of BIMTAC in Thailand and Southeast Asia, I would like to convey my uh, profound condolences. So I was just saying thank you. I just wanted to thank BIMTEC for organizing this and letting, giving us a chance to speak. Uh, I mean, we belong to a huge family. Um, my father was one of like 10 siblings and then Shamucha was um, Babuji's, my father's first cousin. So in this big family, it would be very easy to get lost, relationships get diluted, people have moved to different places. But Shamucha always kept connection with everybody. Mr. Sinha considered me his family and uh, that's a privilege which I cherish. He talked about the... Uh, it's very nice, it's a, these are poignant moments and they're always sad, but there are very few who can actually thoroughly rejoice somebody else's success, small or big. And that he had in abundance. And that's what made him a very large person in his heart. The two small, ways, very small things I'll just mention that once he happened to have called me and I wasn't around, my daughter happened to have picked up the phone and he asked her how she was doing and she said not too bright and he asked her, he asked her, uh, did she like Golgappa? She said yes and the next day, Mr. Sinha was at my house with a lot of Golgappas made by him and his wife and and he fed my daughter those Golgappas and she remember, now she's a scientist working for Columbia University. And uh, she was so shattered. I said that the one person who I remember the, mo uh, the most deeply is Sina uncle because two things she said that he spoke to children as an equal. It was an adult to adult conversation even with young children. He never talked down to them. And secondly, he empathized, he understood because hierarchy didn't kick in when it came to uh, correlating with people around him and that was unpremeditated. 
it wasn't as if he was cultivating this boy so that he becomes an ambassador of his goodwill and his genuineness. It was instantaneous, instinctive respect for a fellow human being who doesn't know him and his curiosity to learn lived with him. And I'm fortunate that this he went through a very difficult last phase of his life. But I had the privilege of being there. I was one of the first whom he called when he felt a little low or, or a little in the need of company. And uh, I'm grateful to God that somebody like him came into my life and lighted it with his wisdom. I recall meeting uh, Mr. Sinha somewhere in the early 90s when he was uh, the director HR of uh, NTPC and I was a very junior officer, a manager level officer at ONGC would arrange a number of meetings for all the uh, top leadership of HR in the public sector. He was very, very encouraging to me all through. And I still remember till recently, he was encouraging me to write a book, which now I'm getting a little, uh, I think I should do that. It's a privilege to speak about him. He has been guru to me, thought leader, large hearted, Willing, his willingness to help people. He always believed how knowledge, skill, competence is transferred to the next generation. In the second inning, uh, he worked in Bimtech and he was, he was, he felt very nice when he was doing this. He said that uh, he has been natural uh, teacher.